In this example problem, we're going to consider a car that is rushing toward a brick wall at a certain speed, 80 kilometers per hour. The driver realizes he's in for a collision and starts braking about 30 meters away. To what acceleration is required for him to safely brake to a stop before he hits the wall? Again, there's only two equations for us to know here and to learn to utilize. The first is the velocity is a function of time is v naught plus a t. I know what v naught is. It's this 80 kilometers per hour, which I'll have to convert at some point to meters per second. I don't know what time I'm about to strike the wall, so I'm not sure you know what time to put in there. I don't know what the acceleration is. That's what we're asked to learn. But I do know that this velocity better equal zero just before I strike the wall, or else the car goes into the wall at some speed. So that's the first piece of intuition. The second is that this position versus time is described by the second of our two equations. It's initial position if I set the origin to be there where the car is now. X naught is zero plus Vt plus I have a t squared. I still don't know the a and I don't know the t. But this position will equal 30 meters when it's just about to strike the wall. From the first of our two expressions, I can learn that t is minus v naught over a. And if I put that into the second of our two expressions, I have that 30 meters is equal to minus v naught squared over a plus 1 half a v naught squared over a squared, which simplifies a bit because this a squared here becomes 1 over a in the denominator and that cancels 1 a up there. And I find that 30 meters equals minus 1 half v naught squared over a, or in other words, Acceleration A is minus V naught squared over 2 times 30 meters. If you convert 80 kilometers per hour into meters per second, which you must do, then the speed works a little over the be larger than 20 meters per second, you can put uh, the correct number in once you calculate it. And I come up with a value of minus 8.1 meters per second squared. Notice that's almost a g. So a g is about 9.8 meters per second squared. This means that you have to hit the car brake so much, it's not provide, provide one g equivalent acceleration. And for those of you curious enough, the time at that point will end up being about 2.7 seconds, seven seconds later.